from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hey Braves, and welcome to a new season of Braves Beat, and Happy New Year. I'm the real Juice Man. And um, I'm the real Big D-Dog. So, hey, D-Dog, you notice anything new about me? Um, I see you dipping. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get that chopped soy, you know I what I mean? I feel it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, anyways, the Lady Braves basketball team are on a hot start to the season at a record of 10-1, and one, with junior Matty Antonucci leading the way. They have an away game tomorrow at Madeira at 2, so come on out and join Cole Warbrick in supporting your Braves. Your boys' basketball team played well against Deer Park on Tuesday and what was an exciting rematch. Sadly, they fell short in the end. Be sure to come to the game tonight at Wyoming at 7.30. Be there. In prep for tonight, let's look at some XME pregame footage. Roll it. Hey, this Friday, going out to XOMI so you can see us do what we do. That's just a recap, baby. We're going all the way. Game time, baby. Game time, baby. <sighs> in other news, girls soccer won the state. OK, who put this in here? Actually, this is getting ridiculous. Just move on to the next story. Great job to our IH Braves Wrestling, who finished third at Bob Gurns Invitational at Madeira. This was their highest finish ever at the meet. First place wins were achieved by junior Charlie Lindbergh and senior John Mark Williams while seniors Jaden Anderson and Cooper Lestruck are in second. Get ready to support them during the pep rally today. Congratulations to the Indian Hill High School mock trial team for winning the UC Invitational Tournament this past week. This is the fifth time the Braves won the tournament. Great job to senior Garrick Lindbergh, AKA Luigi, who won the tournament MVP award. Great work, Braves. Congratulations to Jessica Buddy, Jesse Chan, Hen Hallaby, and Nikki Cody for being selected to perform this weekend in the Ohio Music District 14 Honor Band. 18 students were also selected to participate in the Tri-State Band Symposium. Great job. Let's toss it over to some interviews in the hallways, ways, ways, ways. Hey, so we, we got Wyoming on Friday. What, what, we, what we about to do? Uh, I'm just let you guys know we're coming to play our, a hard game. What's, um, what's three times six? 18. Minus three. 15. Plus four. 19. Plus seven. I don't know. Got him. <laughs> What's the plan for Wyoming on Friday? What? The plan for Wyoming Friday. Beat the Cowboys. Beat the Cowboys. Do what you want, but you're never gonna break me. Okay. What, hey, hey, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Why? I, I don't know. Who told you that? Who told you to say that? That's straight up a lie. <laughs> Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. Yeah. So we're walking down the halls. Duke Weiler. I mean, there's so many faces. So many faces. <laughs> There are rumors he got a spray tan, but we don't talk about that because it, because we don't know if it's true or not. Uh, yeah, we got bathroom. I mean, like, look, you got Sumner right there with a the beard. I can't do this on my own. All right, thanks, man. If you need some community service hours, listen up. On Sunday, there will be a kids fed meeting thing from one to three in the high school lobby. Be there. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates or ideas. And also, and as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. Praise, for you have all been conquered by the great and mighty titan Thanos. Your worthless and pitiful lives are now being put to a merciful end by the father of all fathers, the god of gods, Thanos himself. The end is coming. Be ready.